The Valley View ISD School Board called for a special meeting just hours ago to discuss getting rid of public comments at their future at their future meetings. CBS 4's Michelle Vargas was at that meeting and has more on the decision. As of right now, parents and residents who attend Valley View Independent School District board meetings can no longer voice their opinions or concerns during the public meetings. On the agenda Thursday evening was the motion to consider and take appropriate action to amend public comments. That means that those present at future meetings will not get the opportunity to speak before the board. It was a four to one decision. Board members Frank Jimenez, Juan Pimentel, Noe Pruneda, and Susana Arredondo agreed to terminate public comments, except Efrain Perez. We owe the community, our taxpayers, the right for them to voice their, 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 their opinions. Ex-board member Place 7, J.R. Trevino, was not happy with the board's decision either. In the past 15 years that I've been here, in the past 30 years that Mr. Perez has been here, one of our longest standing board members, never in Valley View history has this ever happened. We've always given the, we've always given the uh, citizens, the taxpayers, of, of Valley View ISD an opportunity to voice their opinion, whether it's criticism against us or, or praise, we've, we've never denied them that right. We attempted to speak to the board members who passed the motion, but we were referred to speak to the superintendent, Rolando Ramirez. By then, he had already left the building. Nearly all cities and schools allow public comments, but there are a few places that have gotten rid of them, such as the city of McAllen and the city of Farr. However, after public outcry, the city of Farr brought them back. In Farr, Michelle Vargas, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.